Welcome back everybody. So today we're still over here in the farming district and we want to build, um, I think I'm going to build a kelp farm this time because kelp can be very uh, useful. You can uh, cook it and you can eat it. Of course it turns into that, I guess those are uh, like the seaweed snacks I saw in the store last week. Not sure why you would buy those. I guess the same people that buy those rice crackers buy the seaweed snacks. Um, I prefer like Doritos or Fritos or something that actually has a taste. But I am digressing. So you can make that food out of it, but it's not very useful food or very, uh, I guess, satisfying food. Because it doesn't last long. Um, so what you're going to do with your kelp is you're going to, after you cook it, make it into blocks for decoration or for burning. And since it grows so quickly, you can make a lot of blocks. And it's almost uh, a uh, unlimited fuel source. So I think we're going to do it right about here. And I'm going to, let's say I think... It's going to face, the lengthwise will be this way. I want it to face this direction, and it's going to have glass on the front. And then on the inside, where are, there we go. So we're going to have chunks of dirt here, and this is where the kelp is going to grow. I'll have water above it. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six. And so we'll do 10 of those. So I'm going to build one building here. And then the other building is going to be over here. And then the water will run in to um, some hoppers. And then we'll have a collection point right about here someplace. But I think I want to have... I guess I can have two collection points and then I'm going to have some furnaces. Or even if they go into the, maybe they'll go right into the furnaces. That's an idea. I'm going to have to think about that. So this will be the first one. Two, three, four. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that'll be the two, basically the two farms right there. Gives enough room for pathway here and then inside in between is going to be where my farm is or I mean the chests and stuff let's see so this is going to be ground so this will be actually ground level so let's do let's just kind of put a border around here Just a foundation. So if I'm standing at this level, this is this will be glass all through here. So on the sides, I'm going to do stone on one side, like that. So this will be where the first layer is, and I've got where are they? oh there they are. So the wall is going to be birch, because I think the kelp will stand out against the birch. I think that's going to be kind of nice. So this will be the permanent section. That, and then this is going to be the area right here where the pistons push out. So let's do that. And I've got some sticky pistons. Because I thought it'd be cool, or not cool, I think it'd be better if I don't see the front of the pistons with those little green globs on them. So instead of seeing the front of the pistons, all we're going to see is birch. So 
and then the wall is going to go up a couple because I want to get at least have some grow before before the uh, before they get knocked off. Where I'm thinking oh, before the observers knock them off. That's it. Which means I'm going to have observers here, and I think well, the way these work. I put this on the wrong side. The way the observers work, I think I have to face like that, yeah. They're actually standing inside the scaffolding worked. So let's get rid of that and I can show you what I've got for design. So we're going to have this wall here and this is all going to be water and then we'll have kelp growing through there. We'll just put, I have to get some, I need to go get some glass but, and then where we're standing this is all going to be ground level. So this row here is where the pistons come out. So when they grow up this high, any of them, it'll kick the pistons off and we should get, you know, like three at least from all of these. So I think that'll be okay. And I need some more. Oh, there's my blocks. I've got a variety of blocks over here. I thought I'd try and sprinkle in some prismarine because it is, um, You know, oceany. I guess I, I guess that's the term I'm looking for. So maybe I'm gonna go with prismarine blocks. So what? The, I don't remember inviting you to the party. So if we do that and then fill it in with this, like that. So that'll be the front. Put the glass there. I think that'll be okay. And that's one. So let's pull this one out here. Uh, silk touch. Like that. So I think that'd be okay. And then there. Yeah, and then where'd my glass go? Actually, no, no, let's not put the, well, yeah, I can put the glass in there. There's nothing wrong with putting glass in there. I could even put, well, there we go, even put my kelp in. Oh, I need water before I can get the kelp, but, oh. That's what silk touch is for. Let's see, can I reach that far? No, but can I get out of here? Yeah. Where's my water bucket? I will have to put some water in here. Where's the near? There's the near. Ah, uh, fence, fence, fence. I got tons of fences around here. Dang it. I went through and added fence, and now I'm causing me problems. What I can get away with is, where's dirt? So I put water there. Water there. Another water there.
there. Now, I can just fill the whole thing with water. And it should grow. And actually, it should make water source blocks all the way up. I think it can grow through running water. I think. We're going to find out. Where's my... Um, I should have got some more water while I was at it. Oh, and I can't get the water... Dang it, can't get the water once. Once I have planted anything. Mm hmm, I hear you talking. Don't seem to care. So let's put our buckets here. That's really weird. Hmm. That is really weird. I got a source there. And I got a source there. But they don't make. Hmm. I thought it would make a source in the middle. Maybe it's because it runs downhill. I really don't know. That's that is something kind of odd. So let's grab a few more of those. Just want to make sure. Sometimes the server lags, and you when you pull the buckets up, it doesn't doesn't fill in, which is kind of annoying. So we'll put that one there. There, that one there. We'll see if anything grows while we're working on the rest of the building. I'm hoping it will, but I'm not quite sure if it will or not. And then I think I'm going to pop this one out and replace it with the sea lantern. Because we do need some kind of light in there. If not for necessity, just for aesthetics. And I think that'll work. Oh, they're good. That grows. Okay. That grows really well. So, see how quick that grew? Okay. So, back here, I need to feed this power down. So, it's going to go like this, this. Um, we're going to have one there. And one here. I can get, well, I can use my scaffolding to get up here. So it's going to kind of snake its way down that way. So when something goes on here, power is going to go down this way. And then once it hits this block here, we'll just uh, have a repeater which pushes the power into the piston, which pushes out the block, which frees this up, which lets everything flow the way it's supposed to. So that, it's as simple as that. So all I need to do is carry this across, like so. Um, do I have a, I do have a shovel? Let's get rid of those. And then we can do the same here. So we need redstone on top of those, and then I sh can do that. There. That's good. I may end up putting another one facing this other direction. So 
So now when any of them fires, this whole thing should go off. I'm going to need some lighting. I need a lot of lighting. I need something like that. I've got plenty of lights. Oh, there. See? See? See what I told you? It grew already. And then it's going to float up. Up, 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 up. Oh. Going to float up, 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 up. And why? Oh, yeah. I think it stays like that because of... Because of the signal link. So, if we lengthen the signal on these... Like that. I may need to pull out one of these. Yeah. So let's kind of just put these on two ticks to give it just a little more, a little more power length. Length, a little more length on the power signal. So it'll stay out and it won't do a quick little bud switch like it just did. That does mean I need to go up here. And do that. Um, do I got? I'm going to have one off. Yeah, that one there is not right. Let's take a peek down this other, down the end here. I was trying to get away from the stupid llamas. Uh, yep, everything's set. So I think we are good to go now. So if I go up here again. And put a block there. Everything goes out. Everything goes back. And everything's slowing down because of the water. Oops, and I'm missing. I may need a couple more buckets of water here. Let's go get a few more buckets of water and fill in. Fill in those running spots. So maybe I can uh, fix this. Oops, we do that. Well, that made sense. It's going to it's going to trigger it. So let's see. I've got a water there. And it looks like I've got another water. That one's flowing that way. And then maybe that way. And maybe that way. Maybe I can help things. Sure, that helped anything. Yes, we're going to drown. Did that work? I don't see water running, so maybe that worked.
Okay, next step, I need to get water running that way. Which is going to be uh, interesting, to say the least. I think I'm going to have to set off... Let's do that. Okay. Oh, dang it. I think that should... Let's see. Is any water... Let's see if all those float to the surface. Those don't look like they want to float. Hmm. I don't see anything floating, which is what bothers me. So let's... Pull this off. There. Now nothing's going to trigger. That's the good thing. Yeah, those are not floating to the surface. So that kind of tells me there's no blocks. There's no solid blocks there. And now they don't have the pesky, pesky uh, thing going off. Like that. Now that should all be solid blocks. And then I just need water to go that way. So, let's put... In cap here and in cap here, like that, and then we're gonna put the one more layer of glass here. And do I have a half block? The reason I need a half block is because I'm gonna try a little trick, and we'll see if this actually works. Where I uh, waterlog the half block. And then once I pour the water on top, I don't think I need all three of those. But once I pour the water on top, it should flow the way I need it to. And this is 10 across, so it's not quite going to go all the way over, is it? Um, my thought was if I could do... Oh, no, 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 get out of here. How do I get out of here? So if I do that, oh, I don't have, I have, there. So let's see, is that waterlogged? Fluid, uh, slab, yes, it's waterlogged. Oh, I don't, if you look all the way on the right side, it says targeted block about halfway, it says waterlogged, true, in green. So that's how you tell if it's waterlogged. Oops, that's not the way I want. So what I want to do is put it on the block here. And then what I'm hoping I can do, if I put this water here, you see it flows that way. Which is good. However, I made a huge miscalculation by making this 10 because I thought 10 was a nice number. So I think I'm going to have to shorten it. Yep, I'm going to have to shorten it. So this will be the end. Right there. So the water is going to end right there, and that's where I'm going to collect what I need to collect. Which, uh, let's see, if I do this, I need to, let's fill that in. 
Put all that in. I don't need anything here. I'll fill that in and then all this. So this can go. Do, do, do. Get out of my way. We are going to take care. Get out of here. Sorry you had to see that. But they were just, they were annoying me. I normally, I normally don't do that. That was very uncharacteristic. However, they don't have any useful trades. And they were, they get in your way. And it's just frustrating. So anyhow, now this is not going to be 10 across. It's going to be 8 across. So this one here in the glass. So this needs to be... So let's get rid of this. So this one here is going to continue on this way. Ah, dang it. Yeah, I didn't use my silk touch on my sea lantern. Luckily, I've got plenty more where that came from. Okay, so that's going to be the front. So all this over here is garbage. It's all going to go. Go, 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 go. Let's get rid of all this. And that's, uh, let's actually get the silk touch. And we'll get the, the axe. We can get rid of this, 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 this. Actually, we can get rid of this and that. Now, I don't, it's not going to hurt my spawn or my farm rate because I'm going to build, well, I'm going to build basically four of these. I'll have that one there, this one here, and then two on the back. And then that should still do what it needs to do. And then up here, since I got the water going this way, I can get rid of these slabs. And that should not prevent, you know, that should not let the water run down. It's only going to run over. And then right here, let's um, do that so I can take this out. And then we're going to put a hopper. And the hopper will collect everything that gets knocked out. And there we have it. That is the start of our kelp farm. So, I'm going to say uh, that is going to be it for today kind of a part one of the kelp farm and then part i will add in these extra sides over here and then we will finish uh, kind of put a building around it but now the kelp should be collected through there run all the way over if i need and i just need to put the oh, redstone and you get more how did i lose my redstone you know i had enough redstone for everything and then i got rid of it Well, that seems that worked. And then this goes up. So everything got moved up. And it goes into the hopper. Yep, okay. Not bad at all. So I'm going to say thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and hope you come back and catch the next one. Bye-bye.